Hi everyone, Miss Roberts here and I'm in my kitchen because we're going to do some science exploration today about cranberries. Can you say cranberries? Cranberries are very popular this time of year and you can buy them in the grocery store like this in berry form. So I wondered why are cranberries so special and why do we use them now for Thanksgiving? So I studied and now I want to share it with you. So cranberries, they go back a long, long way in America where we live. They are one of the fruits that has always been grown here, always. And another fruit that has is blueberries. That means they're native to our land. That means they've always grown here. So cranberries are special that way. And they go back a very long time with a certain tribe of people called the Wampanoags. You say Wampanoag, that's a very big word. Wampanoag starts with a W, whoa, 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 like water. The Wampanoag Native Americans, they are still in the region today that they were when the pilgrims came over. They're kind of far away from us. They're in states like Massachusetts and Rhode Island and New Jersey. So a little farther, closer to the water than we are, the ocean. The Wampanoag Native Americans used cranberries for lots of things. Not only food, but they used them for medicine. They would rub crushed cranberries on a boo-boo they had and it would heal it. So the Wampanoags knew all about cranberries and they taught the pilgrims when they came over. Now, they also have a special cranberry day every year, even now. And they celebrate the cranberry harvest. They have games and lots of food and cranberry bread and cranberry pie and cranberry sauce. All the cranberry things you can think of. And it's a big celebration. They are thanking God for the food that he gave us. Cranberries. <laughs> now, hmm, how do cranberries grow? I didn't know before this, so I looked it up. Cranberries, I'm gonna open my package. These little berries grow on vines that are very close to the dirt. They like the dirt and the sand with a little water, and they call that a Bog. Can you say bog? Ba, 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 ba. Bog. Bog. That's a funny word. But they like to grow where it's wet and marshy and sandy. And they grow for a very long time. 16 whole months. That's longer than a year. And the cranberry farmers, they flood the vines so the vines are underwater. And then they use a truck to churn them up and get all the berries when it's harvest time, like you saw in the book that you read before. And they do this in October. So the cranberries are then ready for us to make for Thanksgiving. So I wanted to show you with my little bowl here. One cool thing about cranberries is that they float. They don't sink. So let's make our own little bog and pour some cranberries. So this is how they harvest them. This is how they make sure they get all their cranberries. Look how much they float and the water is below them. So I wanted to show you what is inside of the cranberry. So let's cut up one little cranberry so you can see. Ooh. So on the inside, they have little chambers where the seeds are. Chambers are big pockets of air. So they can float because they have that air inside. And what colors are they? On the outside, they can be red or they can also be a light yellow. And the inside, it looks kind of like an apple and it feels crunchy like an apple. 
Now, I read that you don't really want to eat them like this because they're very sour. <laughs> Super sour. But that's why people make them with some sugar and you can get <gasps> cranberry juice, mm, cranberry sauce, cranberry pie, cranberry bread, cranberry cookies, cranberries in your cereal. Cranberries are all around. Also, I've seen some of you eat craisins, which are dry cranberries. They are a very good snack. So, I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I have some more activities for you to do. But, cranberries are a really cool fruit. <laughs>